Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday morning and we are here in the local market in Keretaro. This is called Marca de la Cruz and we are here to buy a few things uh, from a store called Molino. Uh, we are going to buy a few things which are, which are useful for Indian cooking. So I thought I will show you the market and also the store. And later I will show you the things that I bought from this store. Okay, so let's go. That's the complete name of this market. But since it's so long, we just call it Mercado La Cruz. And this is very close to the centro. So you can just put Mercado La Cruz in the GPS and you will find this place. And we usually go here uh, to buy uh, things which I need from this store. Uh, there are a few things which are available here for our cooking. So I go here whenever I go to the market. And as you can see, this is just like a general store uh, in India and you get all the things that you need. So earlier there used to be a token system, there used to be a big line and we had to take a token from there and you know wait for our number. But now since it's not that crowded, they I think they removed the token system. So you can just go stand in the line and when it's your turn, you can tell them what you need. I will show you what all things I got from here. So please uh, stay till the end of the video. At the end, I will show you what things I got from the store. Because there are a few things which we get it here and you don't have to go to the Indian store to buy them. So first you tell them the things that you need and then you pay on the left side and on the extreme left is where you take the delivery of the things. So here uh, she finished packing and I'm taking it and after this we went into the local market. This is how a local market in Mexico looks. Almost all the local markets in whole of Mexico look almost the same because I have seen in a couple of uh, states and they all look the same. So in this market you will find lots of fresh vegetables, fruits and everything that you need from food, clothes, shoes, bags, perfumes. They have everything and sometimes they even have uh, the names of the brands but I'm sure they're not the originals. They have the duplicate ones but I think if you're looking for something reasonable or something economical then this is the place to go and buy. As I had mentioned in one of the videos, Mexico is a place where you can uh, live lavishly and where you can live with a minimum salary because uh, you can uh, really buy things from this place at a very very reasonable price. And here you can see that they are selling different utensils for uh, cooking. You won't find typical Indian uh, utensils but the things that you need for Mexican cooking you will find it here and uh, these this is a typical uh, mexican design that you will find here a couple of years back i found uh, a few diyas uh, they, they were selling here the ones that we use for diwali well here uh, i'm sure it was for some other purpose but they looked like a shape of a diya so i had uh, bought few from here but now they are not available as you enter you will find that different rows are meant for different things like for example this row is completely filled with clothes and later you will find that different section is for uh, meat, fruits, vegetables. Even though everything is under one roof, you will not find that the place is dirty or there is any smell. Well, if you go to the meat section, yes, there is smell. But otherwise, on this side or when you go to buy vegetables or fruits, it's not at all dirty and you don't get any uh, smell too. And this store has perfumes and creams which you can even gift for someone. And this side as you can see there is also meat. So people who don't eat meat can avoid this section and you don't have to come to this side. Once you visit this place a couple of times you will know that which section has meat and you can just avoid that place in case you don't eat meat. And for my Indian friends who eat mutton, uh, there is a store here in the local market which sells mutton too, apart from pork, beef and fish. I am not a regular visitor to this market. We come here once in uh, you know two years just to buy flowers for Onam or vegetables for Onam for our festival. But otherwise, I don't visit this market that frequently because I don't need uh, so many vegetables and fruits. The little fruits and vegetables that I need, I usually buy it from the supermarket or from a fruiteria, a, a fruit store which is there near my place. So I don't really come here to buy vegetables and fruits because first of all, it's a little away from uh, where I stay. So it's quite a distance for me to travel and also on Saturday and Sunday, this place, um, it's difficult to find parking. 
I'm here uh, at around 10 o'clock in the morning hence I found the parking easily but otherwise on Saturdays and Sundays it's really difficult to get a parking space here and here you can see how fresh the fruits and vegetables are and these are called piñatas I have already spoken about this in one of my videos where I spoke about uh, what I love about Mexico and these piñatas uh, they usually use for birthdays for kids birthdays they have a custom of breaking these piñatas which will be filled with candies and as a dog lover I couldn't stop filming this so these piñatas are of a different um, theme for example if you have a spider-man theme you can get a piñata of spider-man if you have a mermaid theme you can get that and then there is another section where you can buy chicken too only thing you need to know when you come to such markets is you need to speak uh, spanish because obviously the sellers here don't speak english so you need to know at least basic uh, spanish to survive in this kind of a market you also find uh, places here where they are selling food so people uh, come here for breakfast or they also come here to have lunch as you can see these are small stands which have some space to sit and to eat as well so if you are a taco lover then this is a place where you can come and enjoy tacos but uh, since we don't eat beef and pork this is not a place for us we uh, usually eat uh, chicken tacos and it's a little difficult to find chicken tacos in uh, local markets you will find chicken tacos only in a good restaurant There are multiple entries to this market uh, there are many ways from where you can enter this market uh, the place from where i entered was the uh, front side but you can also enter from the other side and i hear that on sundays they also have special market here i think it is in this place but frankly speaking i have never come here on a sunday i usually come here on a saturday or if there is any festival like diwali or um, our festival like onam and vishu then we come here so this side you can see that they're also selling plans in case you want plans for your house you can buy that from here and another thing that you need to remember is don't bring your credit cards or debit cards here it's better to pay uh, with your cash because most of them obviously uh, don't have that system so you have to pay it with cash and in case you want birds as your pet this is a place to buy i really got tempted to buy one but then i remembered rocky <laughs> my husky at home so i didn't uh, dare to buy birds And this side as you can see they have some games for the kids and if you are a CD collector if you want to buy love to buy CDs uh, movie CDs then there are uh, shops for that too. And stores with beauty products there are also stores with makeup products well they're not branded ones but the local mexican brands you will find it there and then this side they have a different florist selling beautiful flowers if you are looking for different colored uh, bouquets or if you want different colored flowers then uh, you can come here to buy them i usually come here for onam where we make a beautiful uh, pookalam i have already shared a video uh, if you want you can check that in my uh, channel it's called onam celebration in mexico and i have shown this side of uh, this market on that in that video where i'm buying flowers for the onam to make the pookalam hello again so we are back home after a small shopping from the local market well i didn't buy anything from the local market because uh, usually in the local market you get meat fruits vegetables and we also have a fruteria here in the place where i live 
So I usually buy those things from here. I don't really buy anything from local market. But I buy a lot of things from that Molino store that I showed you. So I got few things from there and I thought I will show you these things because most of you ask me from where we get uh, you know, things that are useful for our Indian cooking here in Mexico. So I thought, sh I, thought I will show you the things that I bought. And uh, also I wanted to tell you that most of the things like different types of lentils or different spices like pav bhaji masala, chole masala, all these things I get from the Indian store. The, I have already shown you a video about this Indian store in my Costco video. If you haven't checked it, I will leave the link uh, below. You can check that out. So I buy my things, uh, Indian, thing, Indian grocery things from that store and the rest of the things I get from this Molino. So let me show you what I got from that Molino store. So these are the few things that I got from the Molino store. Don't be surprised looking at the quantity because I usually buy three or four kilos for sure because I don't frequently go to a uh, local market. I go once in three months or once in six months. So I get a huge quantity and I keep it in my freezer so they don't get spoiled. So let me tell you what I got. This is suji or semolina. Uh, I use this for making upmas or making rava idli or you know making sweets. So you get this in a very good uh, quality here in local market in that Molino store. And then this is arena de garbanzo which is basin in, in Hindi. And we use this to make pakoras or many many you know uh, sweets in India. And then I get this this is coriander seeds i buy like you know three or four kilos because i make uh, i roast it and make a fine powder out of it and use it as coriander powder and also use uh, you know this these whole seeds to make sambar the south indian sambar so that's why i need a huge quantity because when i roast it and fry it the quantity is very less and then i get this uh, cumin powder uh, this you get in local markets, in supermarkets too, but I get it from the Molino store when I go there. Then I buy this cardamom. It, the name is the same in uh, Spanish too. And uh, you know, we, we use this to make sweets and other things. And then you also get these mustard seeds here. Uh, I don't find this in supermarkets, so I buy this from the Molino store. You just have to tell them Mostazo Negro. It, they usually have yellow, so you have to tell them that you need black. And then I also get this uh, chili powder. Uh, this is a chili powder called chile de arbol, which is little more spicy than the normal chili powder. So I don't really buy chili powder from the Indian store. I buy this from the Molino store. And we also get these green moons from Indian store, sorry, from the Molino store, which I really like. My kids also like it. So... Let me show you the prices also. For example, the uh, first one is cilantro and semilla, which is the coriander seeds, and it cost around 50 uh, pesos for one kilo. And uh, the chili powder is around 50 pesos for half a kilo. And semolina, which is uh, suji, for four kilos, is it's only 80 pesos. It's very reasonable. In the Indian store, it's pretty expensive. So I think this is very reasonable. And Arena de Garbanzo also is very reasonable for 2 kilos, you get it uh, for 100 pesos. And the cardamom, which I bought for 100, uh, sorry, for 90 pesos, I just bought 100 grams because I just need little quantity for the sweets. And the cumin uh, seeds powder is around 22 pesos for 200 grams. And the mostaza negra, which is mustard seeds, black one, is just 8 pesos for around 200 grams. And then the green moong is around 150 pesos for two kilos. So when you compare it with the Indian store, this is definitely reasonable. Apart from that, we also get this tamarind pulp here in uh, supermarkets. You have to look for something called sin asukar, which means without sugar. And I use this to make sambar. I don't really put tamarind in water and take out the pulp. I directly use this. But you also get tamarind like this in whole with shell. 
it's a task to remove the shell and put it in water soak it and do the things so i use usually i use this and i use the other one to make tamarind rice so that's all for today's video i hope you guys liked it do like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one until then take care bye Thank you.